This is a series of about the BT 125 cubic centimeters where I pick up this uh, bike. It's been standing a lot, didn't start, the engine was stuck. There was a lot of problems, missing side panels and so on. Missing battery. So anyway, I had to pull it home and um, started checking things out. This is what I found, rubber hose in the intake. Yeah, that's not good. Wonder how that got there. So I continued finding, trying to find the electric faults. There were among other things, the starter uh, contactor didn't work. Also the, um, the, the ignition didn't work. Anyway, I uh, removed the tank. There was a lot of crap in it. Removed the fuel filter. And uh, you can see the rust inside it. Try to clean it out. Making it better at least. It's much. And then uh, try to check the spark, but it wasn't, uh, it was erratic, but it did have spark. Then I decided to replace the ignition and also clean up the exhaust, the linseed oil. This is still yeah, stuck. This is the stuck part. The engine is seized, it's stuck. So it's a major thing. I pulled, put, put some oil in it, try to this get it is loose. Really stuck. I'll tell you what happened in the earlier episodes. So, next step was uh, so slide this back on. checking the variator, it's greased up. checking the belt, the status of it, making a service. That's episode 4, I believe. You can see it, it's been standing a lot. There's a lot of rust marks on where it has I can feel some surface here, so I'm gonna try to use some chrome polish here and see if that helps. It's just a tad, otherwise I have to use some sandpapers. And so uh, there were, as I said, a lot of electric problems. Here. This is the brake switch that, that didn't work. Also some drain holes were full of crap, so I cleaned that out. Also replaced the intake manifold. Which had a bolt inside it, put a new one there and put the tank back, replaced the fuel level sensor and put some new uh, fuel filters and a new petcock valve was also replaced. I replaced the fuel hoses at the same time. While I'm at it, I just checked the studs, the distance between them, 54 millimeters on this one. I also drained the motor oil on it, it was pretty black but at least it was motor oil in it and while I'm at it I replaced the bolt to a magnetic one and of course I'm to filling rebuild it with, it with oil. Some clean motor oil. This one. Time to put the carburetor back. I guess this is the original Sheng Wei. Connecting the vacuum, connecting the fuel down there and then connecting the choke cable up here and the vacuum here also to this T piece missing one of the one of the whole crampers there and connect the wire here and then Easy piece, and then this one. I hooked up the airbox and hooked up the battery, and I also hooked up the ignition. But uh, <coughs> the fuse is going, so I don't know if I have connected this one wrong or if it's just a new <coughs> or reoccurring electric problem. Need to check this again, and maybe we got some something short here or something. Of course, while I'm doing this, of course, it always comes people, and they're just yeah. I can't film then. I'm I want to do do it alone. So yeah, but now they've gone, so I can continue and so on. I've gone get some. Can I replace this one here? Just temporary. Hook this up instead, 15 amp, and then 
try to search it, see if I find something. Yeah, so I've changed the fuse here temporarily. Just hooked it up, didn't have a fuse of that type. And I hooked up the the old one, the one that was, was it's not a, correct all the time. See if that works, if I connected the other one wrong. See, let's see if the fuse goes. Can't do this with one hand. It's still, still correct. So maybe I, maybe I need to check. Check again. Yeah, it's me. I've connected something wrong. That's nice. Redo it. While we're at it, let's try the the brake switch. Yes, brake switch is working. Nice. I don't have any fuel, so it's normal that uh, it doesn't run. I need to fill some fuel here also. I will do that soon. See, it's empty. That's good. So let's pull in, put in some fuel. Any leaks? So I'm gonna suck on this and see if there comes any fuel. Did I film it? Yeah, it did come fuel. So I'm filling it up so it doesn't have to go too much on empty. Can't see any leaks so far. It's nice. See if the linseed oil is gonna resolve or get clogged here or whatever. We'll see how it goes. So now there should be fuel. Let's see. Moment of truth. Sounds strange. there didn't that didn't, didn't sound good ay 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 no oh, something is wrong definitely gonna remove this see if Remove the transmission. Press behind and just pull out.
taking a bit of oil, but it should be normal since I put the oil in it. Something engaging there. So the more I run it, the less of the strange noise is appearing. So it's getting better and better. Maybe it just needs some, some running time and real lubrication. I couldn't find any, any fault with this wiring, so I'll put it back and... Now the, the fuse is holding. So it must be something temporary here, around here. Might have to, it must be something with this. Been doing this a bit and then it works. So let's see. Hooked up to smaller battery, by the way. Also put back the, the transmission side. Forgot it was locked there. Sorry about that. I removed the lock. Uh, this battery is not. It's not fresh enough. Yeah, I gotta switch it on also. This battery, <laughs> they don't last long. Okay, short it up, change battery. And this is the way it is. Oh, these batteries are no, no good. Got a new battery, let's try it. Fuel meter is working at least. So this is how it looks inside. Oops. Oh. So I bought a new uh, BA20D 
five what two times and uh, yeah Let's start it again Let's see if the light works This turns out when you turn. Let's see if the, yeah. It works. Linkers. Yes, yes. No, got some kind of lap. Worked for a while. Still smoking a bit. It's running better and better. You see the smoke? Brake light yeah. works, but it's a it's a kind of black smoke. Then it turns itself off sometimes. Strange, right? I think it will start right up again. Something wrong with it, I guess. I also put, put both screws there on the ignition. So putting back the pieces together. It's a pretty tight fit here. You can see the the lamp there is touching the steering it's, not, it's too tight there no wonder it breaks if you don't get it extremely right anyway this piece is hold on by these and then you have to sort of push this in here you can see it so they have to just Sort of push it out. You need to clear clear the cables. Then it works. And then you have to fit this one in. Got some hair, you snap it, snap it here, and snap it there. And then pull this on the other side here and get this here and then you can push it together so you can get the screw there it's vibrating so let's Let's drive it. about the smoke yeah, still some smoke
So it turns off sometimes. Need to check the spark plug. So let's try a CDI from a GY650CC Vento, Chinese one. See if it gives spark. Yeah, gives spark. I'll put it back and see what happens. Spark plug is back. back to the original or the CDI that was in it from the start. It's running again. Maybe it was just too little fuel. It has consumed a lot of fuel. I fill it up and now it runs again. Then it cools down. Not even. Start accelerating again. Need to try that again when I when this fuel. Let's see if it starts. Yeah. This got a. It's for a moped, you know. It's good a motor. Moped.
so during this test run it didn't have any problem so it's running better and better the, the more it runs so I'm happy with it it still smokes have to do something about that I replace the cylinder uh, piston rings maybe it's the valves we will do that in the winter so thanks for watching bye bye by the way I replaced the fuse 15 amp fast one I think it's a fast one it's better to have it already now